was about six years old when I went on my first official trip. I was going with my father and my grandpa Sinclair up to the North Pole. It was a very glamorous destination. But the best thing about it was that I was going to be spending lots of time with my dad. Because in Ottawa, he just worked so hard. One day, we were in Alert, Canada's northernmost point, a scientific military installation that seemed to consist entirely of low, shed-like buildings and warehouses. To be honest, I was six. There were no brothers around to play with. And I was getting a little bored because Dad still, somehow, had a lot of work to do. swept arctic afternoon and I was bundled up into a jeep and hustled out on a special top secret mission. into the reason for the existence of this high security arctic base it was exactly right we drove slowly through and past the buildings all of them very gray and windy we rounded a corner and came upon a red one we stopped I got out of the jeep and started to crunch across towards the front door. I was told, no. To the window. So I clambered over the snowbank, boosted up to the window, rubbed my sleeve against the frosty glass to see inside, 
And as my eyes adjusted to the gloom, I saw a figure hunched over one of many work tables that seemed very cluttered. He was wearing a red suit with that furry white trim. And that's when I understood just how powerful and wonderful my father was.
Bring the Phantom Drive online. We are not safe for the weather. Initiate. Superman? Yeah, sir, that's what's going on, Superman. We have a plan, General. Is that what I think? North Com Lightning 1, request permission to understand. North Com Lightning 1, you're clear to engage. Send battle damage assessment grenade up. All right, everybody, we're leaving. We're leaving the building now. served the American military for over a century, set its sights on one of the most outlandish sounding technologies to have ever been developed, the plasma force field. According to the document, the device, mounted onto a vehicle, building, or even a kind of backpack, would use a mix of lasers, electricity, and microwaves to rapidly heat up the air between the vehicle and a blast, creating a plasma shield that reflects, refracts, absorbs, and deflects a portion of a shockwave. This phenomenon has become known as a silent destroyer, but has proven highly difficult to diminish. For as long as bombs and improvised explosive devices have been used in warfare, world armies and private defense contractors have been looking for ways to protect their troops from incoming explosions from both shrapnel and shockwave. Now Boeing has the potential to change the face of warfare forever, sorts as the potency is absorbed, working as an attenuator. In an NBC interview with Brian Tillotson, the senior technical employee at Boeing who filed the patent in 2012, he said that he got the idea of the force field patent 